Welcome back to Morning Thailand. And as promised, I will talk about the newly published report mm -hmm. of the NACC, the National Anti-Corruption Commission that has been published yesterday. The assets and also liabilities of the new members of the current cabinet, the Yingluck mm -hmm. 5 cabinet, is a tradition that we do after the swearing-in ceremony of the new cabinet in hopes of reducing the rate of corruption right so prevent so, to prove the transparency of right. the ministers this is going to be good and is it work fire before? well the thing is it works because we get to see a lot more people get richer yeah after becoming the minister so at least you know we we have some kind of monitoring going on mm -hmm. but i don't know whether or not none of them ever been convicted no at this point so no. well let's hear so it's just <laughs> I want to know form. who's the richest. <laughs> Just in the, the information mm. here, the richest in the new cabinet, the Ying Lak Five, is not the prime minister, as many people suspected. Well, she already rich to begin with, so yeah, she, that was fine. She's right? business woman. Okay. But the richest of all is Kun Pong Thep Thep Gansana, the deputy prime minister, who seems to be very well off, mm -hmm. with 3,085 million baht in declare family oh. assets with only 10 baht in debt. Wow, <laughs> who who did he owe that 10 baht the to, bank. I wonder? He said he, his wife owned the bank 10 baht, I think just for... For what? The fine what, like, or the interest what? rate. Okay, but 10 yeah. baht, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not sure if I've ever been fined by the bank for only like 10 baht. Yeah, Why, well, Kun Ying Lak Chinawat, the Prime Minister and also the Defence Minister, has 628.6 million baht in assets and 27 million liabilities. And therefore, her net worth is 601.6 million baht over debt. They're not talking about the assets and liabilities of her husband, Kun Anuson, because there seems to be his assets and not is not registered oh. in the list. Or mm. maybe it's under someone else's name. Yeah, excuse me. And Deputy Prime Minister and Commerce Minister Kun Niwat Thamrong Bun Song Paisan's net worth is 137.5 million baht. Mm. Deputy Prime Minister Kun Pracha Prom Nok's net worth is 394.5 million, while Kun Santi Prom Pat, the Prime Minister's office minister, has 18.3 million baht in assets over declared debt. Deputy Defense Minister General Yuta Sak Prapa has 312.2 million baht in assets without debt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deputy Finance Minister Kun Benza Lui Jeron's net worth is 181 million baht, while Kun Pawina Hong Sakun, the Social Development and Human Security Minister, has 43 million baht in assets over debt. Mm -hmm. I wonder about Kun Pawina because she comes from a very well-off family and like elite class. Right. And yeah, 43 million, that's too little. Well, <laughs> really? Another... <laughs> 43. Yeah, 43 million is too little. Nice, Kun Fai. Well, another <laughs> has like 300 million. Oh, okay, when, when compared to others. Yeah. How Not in general, because 43 million is quite a lot. <laughs> Still. You've got to work really hard. Well, the thing is, Kumpawina might actually, you know, got 43 million due to the fact that she's half her own foundation. Mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of money goes to oh, that yeah, because she's right? very active as well. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. And there's an issue about Kun Ying Lak Chinawat, the prime minister, mm. that she has spent 27 million baht to buy to buy a plot of land in Bungkum area of Bangkok, and that 27 has been withdrawn from a account of the money that has been. Frozen. So, from the shares of Kun Thaksin Chinawat, her brother. Okay. So, there seems to be a suspicion about well, whether the thing, that money... The thing is, their family. I mean, yeah. we kind of know that already, that that's going to be, you know, like... But, you know, Kun Thaksin's asset has been frozen. Right. So, we're not sure how could his chairs, the chairs under yeah. his name, be able to be sold and use mm -hmm. the money. Reports said right. that Kun Thaksin has... Um, willingly given that money to the prime minister, her, uh, his sister, but his sister. the but court still. still has to rule mm -hmm. whether that money was legitimate to use. Right, that's mm. true. All right, so I guess the prime minister will have to answer this as well, not just her ministry, 
uh, ministers at mm -hmm. this point. All right, King Luck Five. That's very interesting indeed. <laughs> now, we still right. got to see after they mm. came down from the power. investigations, yep. right? Exactly. So let's hope that you know, give them a benefit of a doubt. Maybe they're doing something else besides you know. We I don't even know you if you can do that. You're not supposed to be able to own any other assets, mm -hmm. but. All right, let's move on to another case where, of course, yesterday, you know, despite the fact that they're still talking and debating about mm -hmm. how to select the um, senators, when it, whether or not it's going to be election or the selection or, you know, and such. But at this point, one of the things that, you know, a lot of people are concerned or at least talked about is the reform forum. Yeah. And, of course, like uh, we have mentioned before, Kun Ban Han is the one that um, the prime minister um, put her trust in and said that, you know, asking Kun Ban Han, hoping that he would somehow work his magic and bring the Democrat Party into the table here. Mm -hmm. Now, Kun Ban Han, of course, yesterday at the Chat Thai Patana Party, he's a chief advisor. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's not, not a leader anymore. Exactly. And, you know, at this point, they say that yesterday at about 1.30, um, they interviewed Kun Ban Han a little bit, talking about, you know, what he thinks about the... Um, the reform forum and such, um, and he has mentioned that at this point, um, it's not going to be easy to introduce the reforms. Obviously, as the causes of political conflicts are still very, very complex, and the national reform forums, um, this particular forum that you know people are still trying to talk to, and with the key figures, he said that. For those that missed the first round, and I believe that he referring to the <laughs> Democrat Party, mm -hmm. we're hoping that um, they will be he will go and personally invite them again mm -hmm. for the second round, and hoping they would join because obviously the seven goals that they came up with, um, which involve you know political, um, social, political, economic mm -hmm. issues and such, hopefully that it will be done. And he said that. It should be completed, all fully completed, no less than six months. But he thinks that it should be, you know, all right within, you know, a couple of months at this point, two, three months by December at least. But he said that he's quite sure that it will be within this um, government time. Mm -hmm. So at this point, he's quite sure. And he said that, um, you know, for all this particular goal, um, it will all be short term goal. Mm -hmm. to begin with because obviously for the long-term goal it's going to be hard he said that in Malaysia they have roadmap for 15 20 years he believed that that might be too long for for Thailand because our political system seems to change very often uh -huh. um, shifted a lot so he said that you know just five to ten years that's you know their mark that they would like to look at and he said that at this point he hopes that um, something will come out of it because we cannot live with this kind of you know political conflict anymore. He would like to see the situation becomes a lot better. And at this point, um, he said that there will be a little bit more in terms of, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, he mm -hmm. called it. That, you know, he said that we can't live like this forever. But obviously, after the 6th of September, um, he's going to go and, and, and meet with the Democrat Party. He's going to go and meet with um, Kun Son Thi, Lim Thong Kun, mm -hmm. the former PAD leaders, because yeah. obviously um, Kun Son Thi has came out along with the other leaders already saying mm -hmm. that the um, PAD or the yellow shirt will, you know, wash their hands of it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So apparently, you know, for this particular forum, Kun Ban Han still hoping that they, he would be able to bring in all these key figures mm -hmm. at least. And All speaking right. about Kun Ying Lang Chinawa, the Prime Minister yesterday, she appeared in a joint sitting oh, of the right, parliamentary true. debate on the Charter Amendment and making it like it woo and wow from the MP. Oh. Because they already mentioned about the Prime Minister's beauty also. Because some, some MP yeah. from Pia Thai stood up and said that, well, he... He complimented to, her during yeah. the time that he was supposed to make a statement about something else. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah. And I today, see. the Prime Minister will travel to Hua Hin in Pechaburi, in Brazil, Kirikan province, excuse mm -hmm. me, to report the progress of the government's projects to His Majesty the King. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, at this point, it seems politics has, you know, various issues indeed, from beauty to reform yeah. to money. So, you know, we, we've we got have one more issue for you in the next break. Mm -hmm. So please stay tuned.